Hello, I'm Jim Holland, Dale District Supervisor for the Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors. I want to take a moment today to talk to you about some of the ways your local government has adjusted to meeting the community's needs during this challenging time. It just so happens you're looking at one of those ways right now. As I record this video segment from home using my laptop and technology that will enable us to continue communicating and collaborating. After all, communications is the key during any crisis and we're not missing a beat as we adjust to our new way of doing things virtually. Like all businesses and other organizations, Chesterfield County began feeling the pandemic impact almost immediately. Now, we're several weeks into our response and we're still adjusting and finding new ways of doing things so that we can continue providing outstanding and needed programs and services. There is a silver lining to this crisis. It's making us better at what we do. Many of the changes we are making will provide significant benefits long after these challenging times pass. We are already recognizing how many of the changes we're making now due to COVID-19. This will cause us to do things differently tomorrow. We will win the battle against COVID-19. And when we do, we will be a strong, more efficient local government and community. I'm very proud of how the county's workforce has handled what has been a major change in how we deliver services and programs, and we've done it in a very short amount of time. For example, we made it possible for hundreds of our county employees to do their jobs remotely with customer service to our citizens, something that Chesterfield citizens expect and deserve while keeping everyone safe as we work together to slow down and prevent the spread of this virus. Mm -hmm. Prior to the pandemic, very few county employees telework. Many could remotely access their work in order to get things done at odd times while at home or away, but true teleworking was rare. In roughly two weeks of the virus impacting Chesterfield, hundreds of employees were beginning to telework and ensuring that essential services could keep rolling. There was no easy task for our information technology department. They had to work with no more than 40 departments to bring them on board. The county's remote access system is now recording more than 2,000 connections a day not counting our public safety departments, which through the nature of the work they do, were already regular users. We've also created 14 virtual call centers. Yes, that's 14, allowing departments to continue meeting customer needs at a safe distance. Those include calls centers for social services, the library, mental health, support services, and the treasurer's office, just to name a few. For the first time, we're also operating a virtual emergency operations center charged with managing the county's day-to-day -day response to the pandemic. Prior to now, an EOC activation would have taken place in a very large room and involved the physical presence of many county departments. Today, that very important function is happening in virtual land. We are very fortunate as a community to have an, important, an outstanding public library system. And our public library staff didn't hesitate to figure out new ways to continue providing services once the doors had to be locked on all county facilities. Now, hundreds of library patrons every day are making use of a new curbside pickup service among the library branches. Library services available online have also picked up considerably. Materials available electronically are greatly supporting educational efforts that continue virtually. Children and their parents aren't missing their beloved library story times because they are now being delivered through Facebook Live. In fact, an average of 100 attendees are tuning in to these virtual story times.
Departments in our community development division have also devised new ways of making sure customers can still access services. A drop-off pickup box located outside the community development building is enabling paperwork to be exchanged at a very safe distance. The division has also expanded services online. For example, the plan department is now accepting several types of applications online while the building inspection department has moved up the timeline on a project to make similar services available for permit. While we are adjusting to how we do things, we are also focusing on how we engage with, with you during these times. Regular meetings conducted by the Board of Supervisors are now held virtually in order to prevent the spread of the virus. Also, we are making sure citizens have multiple ways to provide input during a time when they cannot talk to us in person. Meetings are live streamed on cable, on the county's website, and on YouTube. Citizens who want to make comments on unscheduled matters can do so through an online form or call in with their input. Citizens also wishing to provide input on public hearings may also do so using an online form or call in. I've covered just a few examples of how the county is continuing to provide services during a very challenging time. And there are many more examples. As you can see, your local government doors may be locked for now, but I assure you we are very much open and providing services each and every day. Thank you citizens of Chesterfield County for doing a remarkable job adjusting to the new norm as we share. There is a big bright light at the end of this long term. Continue to work together and heed the safety precautions. On behalf of the entire Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors, God bless you. God bless Chesterfield County and stay safe. Thank you.